Welcome back, viewers, to another enlightening exploration into the realm of optimal brain health and performance. Today, we're diving deep into the treasure trove of nature's bounty, nine key nutrients poised to supercharge your cognitive vitality and elevate your mental prowess. Like the rising prevalence of autism in children, Alzheimer's disease in the elderly has reached alarming proportions, and dishearteningly, there's no sign of it slowing down. Evidence suggests the trend is heading in the opposite direction. According to the World Health Organization's projections, by the year 2050, a staggering 139 million adults globally will be grappling with dementia. But amidst this concerning scenario, there's a beacon of hope. It's essential to recognize that dementia isn't an inevitable fate, it's intricately linked to our lifestyle choices. In today's exploration, we'll unravel the intricate web connecting lifestyle, brain health, and the prevention of neurodegenerative disorders. A key revelation, anything that contributes to optimizing your mitochondria, the powerhouses of your cells, also stands as a formidable ally in the battle against Alzheimer's. It's here that our journey begins. Titled Nine Key Nutrients to Boost Your Brain Health and Memory, our quest today is to unravel the mysteries and empower ourselves with the knowledge to safeguard our cognitive vitality. We dive into the science behind these nutrients and many more, exploring their profound impact on the intricate tapestry of brain well-being. Stay tuned for an enlightening journey ahead. 1. Marine-derived omega-3s, the casahexaenic acid, DHA. The impact of marine-derived omega-3 fatty acids on physical and mental health has been the subject of intense research for decades, with compelling evidence that they can contribute to improving a variety of psychiatric disorders and degenerative brain conditions, including Alzheimer's disease. When your intake of omega-3s is insufficient, your nerve cells become stiff and more prone to inflammation because the missing omega-3 fatty acids are replaced by omega-6. Once your nerve cells become stiff and inflamed, proper cell-to-cell -cell neurotransmission and intracellular transmission are compromised. Low levels of DHA have been associated with memory loss and Alzheimer's disease, and some studies suggest that degenerative brain diseases could potentially be reversible with sufficient DHA intake. Researchers have shown that elderly volunteers with memory deficits experienced significant improvement after taking 900 mg of DHA per day for 24 weeks, compared to controls. Additionally, memory and learning pace were significantly enhanced when DHA was combined with 12 mg of lutein per day. DHA also stimulates one of the most important transcription factors that regulate cellular oxidation and reduction and contributes to detoxification, the NRF2 pathway. Furthermore, it also increases hemoxygenase 1, a protein produced in response to oxidative stress, and upregulates antioxidant enzymes, all important for brain health. 2. Marine-derived omega-3s, icosapentaenoic acid, EPA. EPA, on the other hand, seems to be particularly beneficial in treating depression, as it helps reduce levels of tumor necrosis factor alpha, interleukin-1-beta, and prostaglandin E2, three immune chemicals that tend to be elevated in people with depression. One challenge lies in delivering sufficiently high amounts to your brain. To increase your brain EPA levels, you would need to consume large quantities of fish oil, for example. One theory is that breakdown by pancreatic enzymes renders EPA unable to cross the blood-brain barrier. However, recent studies have discovered something truly interesting. By using a lysophospholipid formulation of EPA, LPC-EPA, they were able to increase EPA levels in the brains of mice by 100-fold. Therefore, a significant question arises, why phospholipid-bound omega-3s are important? Fish oil has several drawbacks, and the lack of phospholipids is one of them. DHA and EPA are insoluble in water and cannot be transported in their free form in your bloodstream. They need to be packaged in lipoprotein vehicles such as phospholipids. This is the main reason why krill oil's bioavailability is much higher than that of fish oil because in fish oil, DHA and EPA are bound to triglycerides. When you consume fish oil, your liver must attach it to phosphatidylcholine for it to be effectively utilized by your body and brain. Phospholipids are also a major component of high-density lipoproteins, HDL, of which you need more, and by allowing your cells to maintain their structural integrity, phospholipids help your cells function optimally. Most importantly, your brain cannot easily absorb DHA unless it's bound to phosphatidylcholine, and although krill oil naturally contains phosphatidylcholine, fish oil does not. As its name suggests, 
Phosphatidylcholine is partly composed of choline, the precursor to the vital neurotransmitter acetylcholine, which sends nerve signals to your brain, and choline itself is crucial for many brain functions, as you'll see in the next section. Recent studies emphasize the importance of phospholipid-bound DHA. This formulation has been shown to decrease Alzheimer's risk in individuals with accelerated onset of this degenerative brain disorder. 3. Choline contributes to fighting Alzheimer's disease. Other recent studies demonstrate the importance of choline for brain health and the prevention of neurodegenerative diseases, such as Alzheimer's disease. Choline is a precursor to acetylcholine, a neurotransmitter necessary for the proper functioning of your brain and nervous system, playing a role in fetal brain development, learning, memory, muscle control, mood, and gene expression. Among foods that are high in choline, we can find whole eggs, organ meat, fish, shiitake mushrooms, beef, and wheat germ. 4. Phosphatidylserine boosts cognitive function. Phosphatidylserine is another supplement that can contribute to improving cognitive function and protecting against Alzheimer's disease. Phosphatidylserine is a widespread amino acid derivative found in neural tissue, and it plays an important role in your brain's cellular function. While your body can synthesize it on its own, you can also obtain it from food, such as mackerel, cod, egg yolks, and offal, and or a phosphatidylserine complex supplement. Phosphatidylserine possesses a unique structure that makes it both hydrophilic, meaning it's attracted to water, and hydrophobic, meaning it's repelled by water. With this structure, phospholipids are capable of organizing into a phospholipid bilayer, two parallel layers that form a major component of human cell membranes. In the membranes of brain cells, the phospholipid bilayer acts as a gatekeeper, regulating the entry of beneficial substances, primarily nutrients, water, and oxygen, while removing metabolic waste. In one study, supplementation with 400 mg of phosphatidylserine increased the speed of calculations performed in short-term memory by 20% in a group of healthy adults. In another study, it improved cognitive function in elderly patients at a dose of 300 mg per day for six months. 5. Vitamin D protects against memory loss. Activated vitamin D receptors increase nerve growth in your brain, and researchers have also localized vitamin D metabolic pathways in the hippocampus and cerebellum, areas involved in planning, information processing, and memory formation. According to several studies, low vitamin D levels are associated with weaker brain function, and increasing levels may contribute to preserving mental status in the elderly. Vitamin D has also been shown to improve several brain disorders, including dementia and Alzheimer's disease. Individuals with severe vitamin D deficiency are more than twice as likely to develop dementia and Alzheimer's disease than those with higher levels. Even individuals with moderate deficiency had a 53% increased risk for all forms of dementia and a 69% increased risk for Alzheimer's disease specifically. These observations confirm that vitamin D deficiency is associated with a significantly increased risk of dementia of all causes and Alzheimer's disease. The results also suggest that there is a circulating vitamin D level below which your risk of dementia increases. This level is just around 20 nanograms per milliliter or 50 nanomoles per liter. Higher levels were associated with good brain health. Getting your vitamin D levels tested twice a year and taking the necessary dose to achieve and maintain a vitamin D level between 60 and 80 nanograms per milliliter, or 150 and 200 nanomoles per liter are highly recommended. Ideally, you should increase your levels by reasonably exposing yourself to sunlight. But if you cannot, consider an oral supplement of vitamin D3 balanced with magnesium and vitamin K2. 6. Vitamin B12 Deficiency Takes a Toll on Cognitive Function Vitamin B12 is another important player. Research shows that individuals with elevated markers of vitamin B12 deficiency are more likely to have lower scores on cognitive tests and to have a smaller total brain volume, suggesting that a lack of vitamin B12 may contribute to brain shrinkage. Brain fog and memory problems are two major warning signs of a vitamin B12 deficiency indicating its importance for brain health. Individuals who consume foods rich in vitamin B12 may reduce their risk of developing Alzheimer's disease in their later years. With each unit increase in the vitamin B12 marker, holotranscobalamin, the risk of developing Alzheimer's disease was reduced by 2%. Vitamin B supplementation, including B12, 
helps slow brain atrophy in elderly individuals with mild cognitive impairment. Vitamin B12 deficiency is widespread, and many people struggle to absorb this nutrient properly from food sources. Blood tests for vitamin B12 are not always a reliable indicator of vitamin B12 status. Therefore, monitoring deficiency symptoms and increasing your dietary and supplement intake is a practical alternative to blood tests. Vitamin B12 is available in its natural form only in animal-based foods such as seafood, beef, chicken, pork, milk, and eggs. If you rarely or never consume these animal-based products, you are at particularly high risk of vitamin B12 deficiency. 7. MCT Oil Boosts Brain Performance one of the primary fuels your brain needs is glucose, converted into energy. Your brain makes its insulin to convert glucose in your bloodstream into the fuel it needs to survive. If your brain's insulin production decreases, your brain begins to starve as it is deprived of the glucose-derived energy it needs to function normally. This is what happens to Alzheimer's patients. Regions of their brain begin to atrophy or starve, leading to impaired function and eventual loss of memory, speech, movement, and personality. Indeed, your brain can start to atrophy by starving if it becomes insulin-resistant and loses its ability to convert glucose into energy. Fortunately, your brain is capable of functioning with more than one type of energy supply. It can run on both glucose and ketones, and ketones are better. Ketones are what your body produces, when converting fats as opposed to glucose, for energy, and a primary source of ketone bodies is medium-chain triglycerides, MCTs. While coconut oil is a healthy option, MCT oil is a more concentrated source of ketones. Therefore, it tends to be more appropriate for clinical uses. Most commercial brands of MCT oil contain a 50-50 combination of C8 and C10 fatty acids, that number after C represents the length of the carbon chain of the MCT. Pure C8, caprylic acid, is the best as it converts to ketones much faster than C10 fatty acids and will give you higher ketone levels. Ketones appear to be the preferred energy source for the brain in people with diabetes, Alzheimer's, Parkinson's, and perhaps even amyotrophic lateral sclerosis, ALS. As with these diseases, some neurons have become insulin resistant or have lost the ability to efficiently use glucose. As a result, neurons die slowly. Introducing ketones can save these neurons and they can still survive and thrive. In several studies, ketones are both neurotherapeutic and neuroprotective. They also appear to lower markers of systemic inflammation. 8. Acetyl-L-carnitine protects against neurotoxic assaults. Acetyl-L-carnitine, Alcar, has numerous beneficial effects on brain metabolism, protects against neurotoxic assaults, and has been found beneficial for certain forms of depression. In one study, healthy mice given Alcar for 25 days at a dose of about half a gram per kilogram showed increased levels of the neurotransmitters norepinephrine and serotonin. According to the authors, this is consistent with the potential efficacy of Alcar for depressive symptoms. In another study, Alcar was found to improve the clinical status of patients with degenerative cerebellar ataxia, a disorder resulting in loss of control of body movements. According to the authors, a statistically significant improvement in some symptoms and slow disease progression in both groups of patients was observed. 9. Probiotics nourish your second brain. As the second brain, the state of your gut also plays a significant role in your neurological and psychological health. Probiotics, known as good bacteria, have been shown to reduce symptoms of depression and decrease pathological features of Alzheimer's disease, including amyloid plaques and tangles. The probiotic strain Lactobacillus plantarum MTCC1325 was identified as having these anti-Alzheimer's properties. If you're eager to delve deeper into the realm of health and wellness, we invite you to explore two other insightful videos waiting for you. In our first recommendation, discover six effective strategies to prevent kidney cancer and safeguard your renal health. In our second recommendation, unlock the secrets of seven foods that naturally enhance testosterone levels promoting vitality and vigor. So, why wait? Click on the links provided and continue your journey toward optimal health and vitality. Remember, knowledge is power, and with each new insight, you empower yourself to lead a life of abundance and well-being. Until next time, stay informed, stay inspired, and stay healthy.